just when you thought it was safe, boom! Adulting hits you out of nowhere, and there's nothing you can do about it. What is up? Thank you for coming back to Dave to Confused. I am Dave, and I'm still confused. Today is kind of a, a, a video that I've really been relating to a lot recently, and I know a lot of my friends are going through the same thing, and I bet a lot of you are gradually going through these changes in life, becoming more of an adult, more responsibilities, things are changing, the wheels are in motion, what do you do? And I still don't know what I'm doing half the time. I have a kid uh, who's just, you know, about one and a bit, about one and a half years years of age. Uh, I've been married for a couple years. I have a house, I have a car, and I still don't necessarily feel like I'm like fully an adult yet because I don't think I'm that mature as of yet. You know, there's certain things that you notice that you're doing and you're changing in your life when you have to adult and you can't be young and crazy anymore and it's not like people are telling you these things you figure them out on your own and you do them like for example one of the main things that changes when you're an adult is your diet right you don't have the same diet as you were when you were a kid when you were a kid you could eat anything you know gummy bears wrapped in a fruit roll-up tied by a fruit by the foot, deep fried, and placed in your mouth, that's dinner. That could be dinner for you as a teenager, right? You know, you wake up in the morning and you crack open an energy drink, and you're like, bah, teenager, whatever. As an adult, that's not how you think. That's not what you do, you know? Like, I'm eating, and I'm like, oh, what a delicious sandwich. I could have another sandwich, but... The calories and oh, too much bread, it just gives me heartburn. And oh, like everything changes, your diet changes, and it's like you're, you're you wonder weird things like, why do they always put cheese on everything? Why does everything have cheese? Because cheese is amazing, and cheese goes with almost everything. But as an adult, you're like, is this cheese necessary? Is this cheese, is this cheese necessary on this? So I would have to have cheese. And another thing you do is sometimes you don't like listen to music 100% of the time on the radio when you're like driving to work or going somewhere. You tend to listen to talk radio to find out news and you find things interesting that you would not have found interesting before. How they found like the, the youngest T-Rex skeleton that they've ever found in, in Canada. And you're like, oh my gosh, this is interesting. Like I should go... I should go tell my friends about this T-Rex that they found in Saskatchewan that there's like, oh, look at this T-Rex. They named him Ryan. Whatever. But honestly, in the grand scheme of things, does that matter? No, probably not to you. No. But as an adult, you're like, wow, this is interesting. This is something I should talk about. These are things, these are things that my friends would find interesting. They're not. They're, they're not. But because you heard it on talk radio, you're like, this has to be interesting. That's why it's on the radio. It's not. And like, adulting jokes. Like, do you, do you ever remember when you were like, you know, 15, 16, even 17, and someone would tell you like a really funny joke, you know? And you're like, oh, that's hilarious, right? And then you'd watch like your parents and their friends talk. And somebody would say something, and it would be like such a cracker, like, ah, I can't believe Ted said that. Ah, oh, Ted. But as like the seventeen-year-old, you're like, that was that was awful, Ted. Like that's not even that was a joke. Ted's your funniest friend. You need new friends, Dad. Your friends are awful, right? But as like as you're getting older, you remember some of those jokes, and you hear them again. You're like. Oh man, Ted's so funny. Ted was beyond his years. He's hilarious. I would party with Ted on a Monday, hungover from the Sunday party. 
like, it, you need to be an adult to find these things funny. Right? Like, when people are joking about, oh, you know how much she paid for that house? That's crazy! <laughs> to a 15-year-old, that is just, in, like, ridiculously irrelevant to anything involving our life whatsoever. Yeah. But, as an adult, that is hilarious. She overpaid for that house. What a crazy woman. What a crazy lady. Overpaying for a house. It's two bedroom. Get over yourself. Deep. I'm even making the joke now. I don't even know if that's funny. I don't know. So, now that we're at the end of the video, there's something I want to try. I really loved how people commented on my last videos and how they were asking me questions. And it was just so awesome. And doing the Q&A was so much fun. I had so many questions. I couldn't get to them all. Um, but that's something that I want to try to change about this channel. I want to hear more from you, the viewer. So what I'm going to say is, you know, keep commenting, keep liking, subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. I want to ask you, whereabouts are you from? I was asked the question, you know, you're from Canada. Where have you been? Uh, you know, and I've really just been to the States and Canada and Barbados, San Antigua, where some of my family originates from. But I haven't really been around a lot. What I want to know is, where have you been? Where are you now? And where have you been? You know, I want to start discussions on this channel. And I really want to hear from you. So, if you could, comment down below and just tell me where you are and where you've been on your best vacation or where you want to go. I really want to know and I really want to read it. And hopefully I will reply back to your, your comment as quickly as I can. I try to get back to everybody as much as possible, but there's so many of you, there's a lot of comments, so. Uh, but I really appreciate it. Thank you very much. This is Dave and Confused, and uh... At least our dogs aren't werewolves.